Charlotte M. George, Assistant Professor in St. Joseph College of Communication. Today we are going to discuss about advertising. The word advertising comes from the Latin word advertor, meaning to turn the minds of towards. The American Marketing Association defines advertising as any paid form of non-personal presentation and promotion of goods and services or ideas by an identified sponsor. There are three important points in this definition. They are non-personal, typically paid and unidentified sponsor. These three are the main characteristics of an advertisement. The another definition regarding advertisement is, advertising is a form of communication that attempts to influence the behavior of a defined target audience. Any message developed and placed with the ultimate intention of persuading a group to take a specific action can be considered an advertising. John E. Kennedy has defined advertising as a salesmanship in print which indicates that the ultimate objective of advertising is to sell. According to Concise Oxford Dictionary, the word advertisement means to make generally or publicly known, described publicly with a view to increasing sales, advertising educates the people about the products and their uses. It is advertising which has helped people in adapting new ways of life and giving up old habits. It has contributed a lot towards the betterment of the standard of living of the society. Now we are going to discuss about functions of an advertisement. The first function is promotion of sales. Advertising promotes the sales of goods and services by informing and persuading the people to buy them. A good advertising campaign helps in winning customers and generating the revenues. The second function is that introduction of new products. Advertising helps in the introduction of new products in the market. A business enterprise can introduce itself and its products to the public through advertising. Advertising enables quick publicity in the market. The third function is that support to production system. Advertising facilitates large scale production. The business firm knows that it will be able to sell on a large scale with the help of advertising. Mass production will reduce the cost of production per unit by making possible the economical use of various factors of production. The next function is that public image. Advertising builds up the reputation of the advertiser. Advertising enables a business firm to communicate its achievement and its efforts to satisfy the customer's needs to the public. This increase the goodwill and reputation of the firm. The next function is that support to media. Advertising sustains press. Advertising provides an important source of revenue to the publishers of newspapers and magazines and the producers of TV programs. And now we are going to discuss about the classification of advertisement. The first form of advertising is that standard advertising. It persuades us to purchase certain products and services. It makes consumer feel to buy it, tells its need and priority and will think about which media they will be placed, how often they will be appear in the media etc. Later time and space is purchased. The contract will be signed on the basis of number of times the advertising will appear, when it appear and in the case of hoardings at which location it appear. Examples are advertisements like Colgate ads, jewelry ads etc. The second type of classification of advertisement is that public service advertising. 
the kind of advertising are planned by non-profit organization to answer a public need. Freely give the time and space for this kind of advertisements. Most broadcasting stations provide space and the time for this kind of advertisements. It will run with regular schedules with commercial. It will last within few seconds to give 5 minute common length is 30 to 60 seconds. And examples of this kind of art that are Switch Bharat, Aadhaar Card Arts, etc. The next type of advertisement is that social responsibility advertising. It seeks to warn against dangers inherent in the excessive use of some product or service, the safe driving, alcohol consumption and tobacco consumption arts are the social responsibility arts. These arts are sometimes sponsored by non-profit organization or public relation organizations representing a particular industry. The next type of advertising is that counter advertising. It concentrates on warning consumers about alleged fraud or misrepresentation in advertising. Advertisement against product or service. It make consumers intelligent on buying product or services. Examples are Naptol ads. The next category of advertisement is that advocacy advertising closely related to counter advertising. This advertisement directed at a particular objectionable product, a company producing such a product or an industry responsible for creating and social ill. It is a preventive measure against conditions affecting the public welfare. Many organizations sponsor this kind of advertising because their name visible in the public. Examples are tobacco ads, don't use plastic, etc. Next is image advertising. These ads are commonly used by corporation to improve their corporate images. Examples are Raymond BMW ads. The last one is political advertising. It's a form of advertising used by political candidates to reach and influence voters. It can include several different mediums and span several months over the course of political campaign. These are designed by political consultants and political campaign staff. Now we are going to discuss about elements or parts of an advertisement. The first part is that headlines. Headlines is a group of words to attract the attention of consumers should have immediate impact on readers, should be understandable at a glance, should be coordinated and simple. There are different types of headlines like direct headlines, combination headlines, news headlines, how to headlines, question headlines, command headlines, etc. Now we are going to see the characteristics of headline. First characteristic is that simple to understand. Headlines should help your reader to immediately understand the main point of your sales message. So you want to be certain you are introduced only one big idea that means no competing idea piggybacking on your main idea at all. The second point is that the right length means not too short and not too long. In fact, headlines that are 80 to 100 characters or 14 to 18 words long seems to perform best. Feel you need more words to get your big idea across, consider putting them in the eyebrow or deck copy. The next point is that emotionally compelling. If I had to pick one, this is probably the hallmark characteristic of a winning headline. The headline must introduce an idea so compelling, so emotionally charged that it stops the reader in the tracks. One way to do that is to join the conversation already going on inside his head. The last thing your reader will expect from you is to understand this current problem.
you can show him you do by relating to his greatest emotion around the topic you are writing about the next point is that targeted headline is should not try to sell to everyone in other words don't use your headline in an attempt to grab the attention of every reader focus only on those readers who have strong emotional tie to your big idea next point is that better therefore write as many headlines as you can but i suggest minimum of 10 for any given promotion and feel free to steal template winning headlines and suitable copy specifically related to your product the next element is that subheads very often advertisements have only one headline some have several of these one is usually the main and the others are subordinates subhead would explain lightly what was the main headline and contains more information about product and services the next element is that slogan slogan is a catchy phrase or series of words used to help consumers remember a company or a brand and a product it's a phrase that describes either the benefit derives from the product or one of the product's most important attributes then the characteristics of slogan it must be short must be differentiated from the competitors unique easy to say and easy to remember the next element is that illustrations illustration in an advertisement is the only one step behind from the real product or service advertised it is closer to reality than the written language it is the visual element in the advertisement it must attract the attention of the desired target audience they must communicate a relevant idea quickly and effectively they help make the ads more believable it must create awareness to the audience it must enforce a text it must urge us a better response it must provide consumer education it should grab visual attention and offer customization it must be cost effective the next element is that copy copy is the written portion of an ad it is the main body of words or the textual matter of an ad it explain the product now we are discussing the functions of copy the copy must arouse the interest in the minds of the people it must provide believable information it must compel the consumer to the product and try it out now we are going to see that the classifications of copy first one is reason why copy that features a reward in the headline next is humorous copy it can be made more appealing by a touch of humor next is descriptive copy will have more description about the product or service next one is testimonial copy celebrities will come and talk about the product and services next is straight copy will have straight message next is dialogue copy two or more people speaking about the product or the service next is narrative copy it will tell a story about product next element is that product it is the model or shape of the product product strong points will be highlighted next element is that trademark trademarks includes any word name simple or device or any combination thereof adopted and used by a manufacturer or merchant to identify his goods and distinguish them from those manufactured or sold by others now we are going to discuss the importance of trademark trademarks are an effective communication tool trademarks makes it easy for consumers to find you trademarks allow business to effectively utilize the internet and social media trademarks are a valuable asset 
Trademarks can make hiring easier. Trademarks are a bargain to obtain. Hope you that got an idea about advertisement and elements of advertisement. Thank you.